I'm Natalia Bonner. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here today and share just a little sneak peek, kind of a snippet of this amazing quilt. So this is one that I recently custom machine quilted for my client, Donna. Now, if you do want to see more of this quilt, see me quilt it start to finish, including marking and a lot more, make sure you do check out the full video over on the Peace and Quilt Academy. We'll put the link below where you can find out all the details for that. But in the meantime, let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. All right, here is this incredible quilt. So this quilt was made by my client, Donna. I used one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe Batting. The thread that I've got on this quilt is so fine on the top, color number 402, and bottom line thread on my bobbin. So today we're going to focus on just those outside borders. Talk a little bit about those straight spine borders. Now, if you do want to see more of this awesome quilt, make sure you check out our Peace and Quilt Academy. If you want to learn more about machine quilting feathers, I actually have a book and an online class called Visual Guide to Free Motion Quilting Feathers. So let's get stitching. Here's the straight spine feather after it's all quilted out along the top side of that quilt. So a few pointers about machine quilting a straight spine feather. I like these to look really nice and crisp and have a straight line. I don't want them to end up underneath my applique. So if you look closely here, you can see that I did go through and mark a line where the outside of my feather should go. After I've marked out that line, then I'm going to mark my center spine, a nice straight spine. I'm also going to mark the center of this feather so that my feather will start from the center and work towards the outside. You'll also notice how on this quilt, I do have some fun corners. I want my quilting to look like it actually wraps right underneath those corners. Almost look like maybe this is a picture frame holding this quilt up with feathers wrapping right underneath it. Let's quilt those feathers. I like to start in the center when I quilt out my feathers. I'll start out by stitching my first teardrop feather on the top, my second one on the bottom, and then from there, I'll work my way to the outside. Now I'm going to use the bump back feather method here, and I'm going to use that marked line in the center as my spine. I'll stitch back to that each time. As I work my way across this feather design, you will notice when I get all the way across, I do have a little bit of funky marking going on. Now, before I actually started quilting out these feathers, I was just playing around, drawing, and deciding what I actually wanted. I'll mist away all of those markings after this feather is complete. Now, as I'm quilting this, you will see that I'm going to use my four-in-one machine quilting ruler to stitch out that nice center straight spine back to where I started. You can pick up the four-in-one machine quilting ruler and most of the other products that I've mentioned here over on our website, peaceandquilt.com.
And here are a few more fun images of this awesome quilt. Like I said, if you want to see more, make sure you hop over to the new Peace and Quilt Academy, where I'll walk you through my process from start to finish on this incredible quilt made by my client, Donna. Have a great day, everybody. 